Alive. They had to film clips from their houses in order to survive. <laughs> when we go back to Mesa, we will all stay connected through the zoo. Wearing masks and sheltering at home, we still try to make our shows with a boom. La Mesa not so live. La Mesa not so live. That's the way we became the Mason Auto Life. What's happening, Lobos? Welcome back to another episode of the Mesa Not So Live. Today is Friday, February 19th, and we are proud to be back this week to give you a chance to hear the school announcements, as well as see some fun segments that we have been working on. I'm your host, Connie, and I'd like you to stand and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. Ready? Begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Curbside pickup for library books returns next week on Monday and Wednesday afternoon. Reserve your books online this weekend and pick up curbside next weekend. Hey, 7th and 8th grade Art Society students, your next meeting is Thursday, February 25th at 2.25 p.m. We will go over important information about the club and also have some fun activities led by your 8th grade officers. We will be voting on your new 7th grade officers at that meeting too. Only 7th grade Art Society students can vote. The Zoom link will be posted in the Google Classroom. As you are all well aware, February is Black History Month. In recognition, we want to introduce you to some incredible contributors to society. That's when I'm gonna stand up, take my people with me. Together we are going to a brand new home far across the Can you hear freedom 
Halo Bros, the Google Classroom with the Ubix staff created, has generated some great participation so far. Remember, that continued participation throughout the year can win you a free yearbook. Join our Google Classroom and check out all the fun surveys and follow assignments. The code to join is OEARW6W. Speaking of yearbook, we know this year is different, but the yearbook staff has you covered. They have been capturing the best memories from this historic year. This one-of-a-kind yearbook is one that you and your family will want to keep forever. Reserve your copy today at yearbookforever.com. And now, here's a public service announcement about treating others with respect. Hello, a few weeks ago, I'm pretty sure all of you saw what happened in Washington, D.C., specifically January 6, 2021. That was not a pretty event, and if I'm going to be completely honest, I kind of felt ashamed to be American. I never thought that people would do such a horrible thing. It really hurts knowing that people who are raised in the same country as I would think this way and act this way. In my opinion, people who have lived here longer than us should set a good example for the next generation, but not act up this way. And I'm sure all of us, each and every one of us, felt bad just watching people attempt to destroy one of the country's most important places. I just want to remind you guys how important it is that we respect other people's opinions and actions and the reason behind it. We can all agree that this was a terrible event in history. People got injured and things got destroyed. We know that we are much better than this. And that day was a hard and sad day for everyone. People weren't happy and I understand that. But that doesn't mean that we can destroy places and hurt people. However long it takes, we have to learn to respect one another and be a kinder person. Here are some things I think we could work on as young people in order to avoid a potential repeat of what we saw. 1. We should respect everyone's opinions. 2. We shouldn't act with violence. 3. If you don't have something nice, then don't say it. These are some things that all of us should keep in mind when we are interacting with one another, whether it's online or in person. I know that if we keep these tips in mind, we can easily put this event behind us and make 2021 a great year. ASB is hosting a second chess tournament. The chess tournament starts today. Both staff and students who signed up last week are welcome to join. Today in African American history, on February 19, 1942, the Tuskegee Airmen blazed their way into history as the first African American pilots who fought in World War II. Every pilot who served was trained at Tuskegee Industry and the group under the nickname Red Tail Angels because the bombers that escorted saw them as angels and the plane t tails and propellers were painted in red. Today is also the birthday of singer, songwriter, and record producer Smokey Robinson. He is 81 years old. Well, that's the show. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed it and we hope to see you back here next week. We here in Fair Production Class care about you and hope you are staying safe and staying healthy. Have a great weekend.